All right, here we are. That's, I guess, uh, not much left for me to do. Um, other than just go and finish off some of these tormented bosses. Um, unless if I get some kind of urge at some point to <laughs> start up a new build, new class or something. This will probably do it for me for the... Uh, for the rest of the season, not that there's much left, just like five weeks or so. Ah. And that's alright, you know, I took this minion build as, probably as far as I can go, unless, unless, if a mythic item drops that would vastly improve upon what I have here. Yeah, I, I've looked through the mythic items. I don't think there's anything that goes really good with a, a minion build. Um, you know, some people talk about Shaco. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember what it's actually called. They just refer to it as a Shaco, but Har Harlequin's Crest. But the problem with that is that it I just don't think it goes good with this build, because I'm not using any skills, so not really anyway, so it's like you know, just if I were and I could pump up all of my skills by four skill levels, okay, that would be great, but most of my damage is coming from the minions. Now, if if it boosted up these, let's say it boosted up everything for skill levels, then that would be something. You know, this would be a 9. Okay, I'd probably use it, but I don't think that's how it works, unfortunately. Alright, so I think I had 6 Stygian Stones, plus 2, 1 for Tormented Doriel, 1 for Tormented Andariel. Um, I don't have, I don't have any blood really to be able to do a Lord Zeer. So I got two Varshans, uh, two Gregoires, and two of the Beasts in the Ice. Beasts in the Ice is going to be the toughest one, but and I think, I think I got to change it up to where... I think I remember this from last season, because I did fight him last season. Um, I must use... I think I gotta use the skeletal warriors that are 99% resistant to all damage, because he, he takes out minions fast. Just trying to think, do I want to go with the... Intelligence, or would I rather go with life? The intelligence boosts up my thorns, and I am going to go at these guys with thorns. Um, I think I think, I, I think thorns works better against these endgame bosses, rather than just the two-handed weapon without the thorns. Um... Let's just try this and see how this works. I, I think I think this will be all right. I'm just going to do the the Varshan guy. I'm going to do him twice. Right. 
rather than having life in my gems, I'm going to go with intelligence and... You know, that reminds me. I think I'm going to double down on that. Hoping that with the bone prison and the blood mist, I will be defensive enough to be able to take the damage. Thus, I'll be using um, fortitude. Why can't I click it? Wasn't letting me click it. There used to be guys in here. There used to be little minion guys in here. Not that they were much of a challenge. They weren't, but I wonder why they took them out. What a dude. Commented. Eat it. I, just, I didn't expect him to go down that fast. That was really... A, I don't know why. He just didn't do any damage to me. Weird. I got one more. I could just fight him again, but... I'll just try and keep things lively. I'll go do... Uh, lively. I'll go do... Um, Gregoire next. Gregoire might be a little more difficult. I don't know why he didn't do the, um... I'm not sure what happened, but he didn't get me... He didn't do any of the attacks which give me a damage penalty. I don't know. I'm not sure why. I, I'm who knows maybe if I take like a week or so off and maybe I'll uh, get the urge to try out one of the other good builds that are out there but fair trade Fair trade. I just think that for now. I 
you know, like the bone spirit is supposed to be good. Blood surge is supposed to be good. And then, um, that infinite blood mist thing is supposed to be pretty good. I think they're coming out with a mid season patch or mid season update. I don't know if it's going to be this week. I don't think they did it already. Maybe if there's some kind of change in there that might affect this build a little bit. But yeah, the uh, the bug that gives you 100% um, uptime on your blood mist. I mean... You can find a way just to do even a good amount, a regular amount of damage. Basically immune to everything. The only thing is it doesn't work with my minions. I do gotta be a little careful with him because he can get, he can do those damage up things to me and that could be that could be that could be rough. There we go. Hits me with something and gives me some kind of, you know, that damage boost thing. I just, I can't tell which attack it is that does that. Beast and the Ice Guy, he's he's a little more difficult. I'll try him though. Anything else? Penitent Greaves. I don't even know why they bother. Such low damage, I can't imagine that's any good. Who knows, maybe I'll... Uh, 29... Plus one to bone skills, plus one to bone skills. 29 is pretty good, almost maximum, probably worth it. You know, maybe I'll just, off camera, just, um, you know, experiment around with something. I don't know.
Anything breaks, the forge is hot. Not sure, but I think the beast in the ice. I said it used to be. I think it was last season where it was treated as like a nightmare dungeon, and you could only die uh, four times. And if you failed that fourth time, well, then you you died that fourth time, then you failed it, and you wasted the crafting materials, including the Stygian stone. That's really the only thing I care. I don't really care so much about the dying. If I die, I die, but... <clears throat> I just don't want to waste the Stygian stone. In this, in this, against this guy, and maybe I should do it against the other guys too, but in, especially against this guy. Um, he kills minions so easily. Almost have to go with um, the ones that uh, take 99% reduced damage. Otherwise, they will they will usually just die. And if my minions die, I'm dead. Forget it. So I do got to be a little more careful about my blood mist. I guess got to make sure that um, I have it when I need it. had him too. Dariel's visage, that's one of the good ones. All stats, life on hit, attack speed. Ten percent maximum poison resist. 20% chance to trigger a poison nova that applies 
100,000 poisoning damage. Five seconds. I just don't know how I could use that. Could I use that with my minions? Because they do trigger lucky hit. Everything that I have is in summoning damage, so I'm certain that that would not. You know, the lucky hit. I would have to find a way to boost up my damage, not the... Everything, everything that I have is in my skeleton's damage, my my minion damage. Be interesting if I if I if I did come up to and look at that thirty percent attack speed too. So. Figure if I had a build, well, it would have to be based solely around lucky hit, right? Lucky hit, lucky hit, lucky hit, lucky hit. Everything, as much lucky hit as I could get. I'll, I'll just, um, I'm gonna file this away. <coughs> it's dam and it's damage over time. <coughs> so I could maybe even think of something like this. Boost that up too. Maybe. Lightning resistance. Fair trade. Maybe even something with Howl from below. Look at that 18% lucky hit chance. You can do a lot with corpses too.
49% versus 43%. Not that much of a difference. I'll take this one. We need to name, make like a a build with like virtually all, virtually all like uniques and stuff. I wonder if you could do it. Okay, I also got fists of fate, maximum fists of fate. Although I got the howl from below. Could be interesting. Come back if you need work. Um, let's do this. We don't want to accidentally. <laughs> we don't want to accidentally uh, destroy anything. All right, do Varshan again. If I get one more mythic, and let's say it's something that I really don't like, or if I just, let's say, killed Uber Lilith, that would give me four resplendent sparks, and I could just make the mythic that I want. There they are. what I was doing wrong. I forgot to switch my skeletons back to um, the Reapers. That's why my cooldowns weren't coming back all that fast. They, they really make a big difference, those skeletons.
This is not where I want to be. Confused for a second. I'm like, well, what's well. going on? Need to go to Corvus Grad. Those are any good. Dark days upon us. You need a proper weapon. Fair trade. Fair trade. Supposedly there's a uh, good build this season, which I had actually tried last season for the Necromancer with um, involving well basic struck. skills. I tried it last season with Decompose, but it, it just well. wouldn't do anything good. But this season, I think they made some changes to where might be good. So I will hold on to this plus three to basic skills. Anything breaks, the forge is hot. All right, Gregoire, but I think uh, against him, I'm going to need my cooldowns to come back. Let's bring these reapers. That is, those are those are really nice. I was thinking maybe to keep minions in a build that I have, just for some abilities like that. You know, where um, you know, reducing my cooldowns, especially if I only use, let's say, mainly like one cooldown. You know, you could have it come up all the time. My problem with that is a lot of times that means your minions are doing nothing and you're using two or maybe just one skill slot for them, but. Might be worth it. <clears throat> Just have to find a way to make sure that they don't die. Did it give them enough damage protection? Enough extra life? You know, maybe you could use blood orbs or something.
we go. because I don't know what is I can't tell which attacks that he has that's given me the the damage penalty Anything else? Raise the father. Raise the father. In the park nicely. Right, beast in the ice. I could I was gonna say I could probably defeat Uber Lilith. I probably could. The the problem with Uber Lilith is that it's more about parkour than it is about having a strong bill. At least that's the way I I've come to see it. You've got to be able to dodge things and know how to dodge them. If you know how to dodge them, you can win. If you don't, it's an automatic loss. I'm going to try it once without the 99% damage reduction guys here. So I would like to just try to make sure I've got my uh, blood mist up. We'll see what happens. Did he really just die? <laughs> okay. And it was a uh, tormented version.
Hope Uber Duriel and Uber Andariel are just as easy. <laughs> Somehow I don't think they will be. But... Although there was one streamer I was watching, he said that the Beast and the Ice guy, out of all of them, he, he Beast and the Ice is the most difficult one. That'll be good. This one, I mean, this one could be so good. Unfortunately, that damage is not minion damage. That 20,000 is not so. Anything you do to boost up your minions does not boost up that damage. Is it? I don't, I don't even think that's better than the one I got. 29,000. Strike. Next life and life per second. There. Anything else? Farewell, and good fortune. You can take what's left. Tier three, tier three. All right. Time to separate the men from the boys. Now I've fought Duriel plenty of times. I have never yet fought a tormented version of him. I have no idea what to expect here. I have two Stygian stones left. I do. One for Duriel. One for Andariel. I don't really think you even need to fight either of these two per se, because it used to be that Duriel and Andariel were the only ways you could really get the mythics, but now any tormented boss can drop, they all have an equal chance to drop a mythic, so... Go 
Should I take? Yeah, I should. Uh, drink this fortitude. Here we go. Not expected to be quite that easy. The world's woo woo. Brimstone. Oh, Brian, I think the one that I got is better. Twenty four percent damage reduction. Quite better. Life on hit. Intelliente T bolts will This one. Twenty-two percent damage reduction while unstoppable. Ah, what the Forty-six, nine, seventeen, maximum damage. little less damage but I like the all stats 98 65 
would much rather have had the lucky hit. Hey, lucky hit. Mount, mount him. All right, on Dariel, here we come. Where is she? Right here, right? Maybe she'll one-shot me. I think I've only fought her once, and it was in her normal form. So I'm not certain... ...exactly what her attacks are like, or anything like that. Maybe I'll just um, fight her a couple times normal. so I can kind of refresh my brain as to what she's like. I'll just do her one, one time normal. Well, or a couple times normal. Probably gonna die right away. Yeah, it didn't really give me a good idea. Alright, let's just do her tormented and... If I die, I die. Here we go.
Alright. She didn't, uh, I don't know if it was me or what, but she didn't do any, um, I didn't accumulate any of the bonus or damage penalties that I sometimes get from the others. Maybe I just dodged them. Okay, well. I got a couple mythics. I can't say it was all that bad, and I can, you know, certainly think about trying something. It would have to be something that involves lucky hit, attack speed, damage over time. You know, and I could have this one. I could have this one. Oh, could be interesting. I'd have to really, really have to think about that. Could even think about this right here. So it could be based almost entirely off of corpse explosion. I might have thought about using something like this with this build, but I would almost certainly guarantee that that 108,000 damage would not be boosted by anything that boosts my minions. So... I don't know. Oh yeah. Um, T bolts will twelve percent Azareth Banish Lords. I'm sure the ones I've got are better than all those. Almost max damage. This one's got the all stats and vulnerable. Old Slayer. Days upon us. Fair trade. Raise the father. So now, maybe the only thing I could consider doing is just, um, fighting the normal versions of these things. Uh, 
I mean, it shouldn't take too shouldn't take an exorbitant amount of time. Last season it was horrible because last season you had to run. You couldn't just use them over and over again like you can now. But if I were to experiment around... with some kind of lucky hit, lucky hit chance build. I need to save at least some of these for tormented bosses for Stygian stones that I might get. playing with the new build because I don't want to I don't want to get Stygian stones but then not have these resources so how about if I save Yeah, so that's probably what I'll do is I'll probably just um guess I'll save three tormented bosses worth of materials. And then that way, if I happen to accumulate Stygian stones at some point, ah, maybe two. I'd just say two. How many does this take? 15? I can't remember now. I know he takes 15, so... Would that just be 30 of him? I always do that. I hate that. I cannot do that here. So 30, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember how much he's used. I only remember him being 30. Okay, he, I know he needs uh, a lot. 27. So I don't even have one tormented boss worth of him. I think you normally get these. I, I know I've been getting these. I don't know why I don't have that many of them. I understand him because I've been using him a lot. I've already fought him quite a few times. All right, let me head out. I'll probably just do a bunch of that minor stuff off camera and then We'll see, we'll see what ideas I can come up with with a lucky hit chance build. Okay. But that's all for now. Maybe for the end of the season. Who knows? And uh, maybe I'll see you all next season for Diablo 4. I'm probably still going to stream and make videos, but I think it's going to be Overwatch 2. If, um, if I don't come up with anything for a new Diablo 4 build. Okay. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye, everyone.